Resilience. In a world where we shape, build, and forge, it's not just the tools and materials that matter. It's the hand that guides them. The world of blue collar work is tough, demanding, and ever changing. But in this world, leadership isn't just about guiding hands. It's about guiding hearts and minds. In September, 1993, I was appointed Senior Vice President and Chief Mechanical Officer by the Board of Directors of a large rail transportation company with about $3 billion a year in revenue. I was responsible for acquiring, utilizing, and maintaining 2,500 locomotives, 80,000 freight cars, with nearly 4,000 folks working for me. I'd come to this company at a time when it had the worst performing locomotive fleet in the United States. And that was an asset worth about two and a half billion dollars. This is the story of a meeting in a motel room between the CEO, the chief operating officer, COO, who was my direct boss, and myself in November of 1993, two months after I had arrived. The CEO started the meeting by instructing me and the COO that we were there to listen, not say anything. The only response he wanted from either of us was to nod our heads yes or no if he asked. Do you understand, he inquired. We both nodded yes. He then said, you both have two months to significantly improve the availability and reliability of our locomotive fleet, or you will both be fired. Do you understand? I nodded yes, and the other fellow started attempting to talk. It turned out that was not a good plan for him. He had failed to follow very clear instructions. Then the CEO said, this meeting is over, gentlemen, please leave. As we entered the hallway, my boss, the COO, started telling me loudly what I was going to do. I turned to him and told him I was going to start that moment doing things my way, period. The only thing I wanted from him was to get out of my way. I told him I'll follow my path and if successful, my team will save both your and my job, not to mention vastly improving the railroad for all the stakeholders. Do you understand, sir? That is what resilience in leadership looks like, especially when I confess that though I had a clear intent of my goal, I did not yet know the how that would work. So what happened? Well, we found the how. And in the two months, we had significantly improved the locomotive fleet. In 18 months, my team had transformed it into one of the best locomotive fleets in the U.S. This also happened to be the highest performance level of a locomotive fleet ever experienced in the 100 plus year life of this company. And we did all that while spending less money than was spent before. The how is a story for another time. You will enjoy it, I am sure. Now, forging ahead. The world of railroading and blue collar work might be tough, but with resilient leadership, it becomes a world of limitless possibilities. Be the beacon of hope, the guiding hand, and most importantly, the heart that understands. As you hone your skills, remember that leadership is an ever evolving journey and resilience is your most trusted companion. Be courageous. I hope you found this short story useful. Remember, resilience and leadership is not a destination, but a continuous journey of learning and growing. It requires you to be courageous 
be in action and have a clear intent. Courage plus action plus clear intention is the formula that leads to success. Become the resilient leader. Shape your team. Shape the future.